I watch the spirits in the field like orbs of energy. When I ring a bell, when the sun peeks through a tree, when a candle flame flickers, when the sage smokes up to the sky, when a child makes art and helps others, when an elder shows me how to create, I see spirit dance on my fingertips. When I touch clay, the earth, blessed mother, blessed father, ancestors like whispers of light glowing in my eyes, all around me, all around you, guiding us to look deeper, listen harder, to sit in the moments when we struggle or get frustrated, to breathe deep and see past the veils of our illusions. I do a lot of work with um, our great grandmother spider. Uh, I believe that the spider wove uh, this realm and creation. So when I'm weaving, I'm also thinking about the spider and just the threads of who we are. We're a woven tapestry that everybody's interconnected. Everybody plays a role in this tapestry with you know unique gifts. For me, I call myself a woven person because I have so many different lineages and cultures and modalities inside my blood. Um, I believe um, my ancestors and all the creatives before me lay in my bloodline and help me guide me and create. I didn't really grow up with a specific culture or tradition. My mom was adopted and my father was um, in and out of prison. So we didn't really have a set um, cultural um, like heritage within our um, family. My name is Kel Duran. I am a two-spirit queer woven person. Uh, most of my work is really just connecting um, my ancestors and lineages, connecting threads and just really connecting um, to spirit and the realms before me and after me. I believe when we weave, I get to um, really just look at my lineage. Uh, it's very meditative for me. I go into a trance and as I'm doing the weaving, I'm saying a prayer, but also looking at these broken cords um, of our lineage and just really giving them love and grace and just listening <laughs> um, to my ancestors. The Ojo de Dios, um, originally from the Huichol tribe in Mexico, they say when you're making an Ojo de Dios, you're building a shield um, to spirit, um, to the great mystery. Uh, so I believe they're portals when I make them. Um, I feel like I'm going into a different realm. It's kind of bridging, um, you know, this other realm. Uh, of our spirits, of our loved ones, um, so they could almost come through and commune with us in a way. Um, so it's also connecting to the stars and the galaxy, to our star family, um, and just really just going through a different dimension uh, other than this reality right now. I think our ancestors um, used art in a way um, for ritual and ceremony, um, you know, I go to, you know, different museums and I see a lot of the Mesoamerican, <laughs> like, artwork, you know, they're in a, you know, a display case, but they're wanting, they're wanting to be alive. That's why our ancestors make them, you know, for the food, for, you know, bowls and vessels for food, for water, um, for fire, for smoke. So, um, I believe when I make my art, it's really, um, a tool. Being indigenous, for me, I wasn't always told that I was, you know, I was, you know, kind of the darkest one in my family and just wanting to really connect with the stories of my ancestors, but I didn't know. When I was young, art was like kind of my everything, like with the chaos in my family, it was like something I can go to where nobody could really, you know, judge me or it was just a safe space. So I love teaching art because it also gives um, a spark. The imagination for me is this floating orb above us, you know, and I think our ideas, we, you know, kind of come to us. And the imagination is just full of that play, of that excitement, of the colors, of, you know, anything that we can think of. And just teaching that is just really, it just brightens up my day. And um, just to teach kind of 
the stories and creativity of my elders that have taught me to. I've been blessed to have many elders and teachers and some have passed away. So it's almost the seed, you know, another teacher gives you and then you continue to teach that and then it, it ripples, it's a ripple effect.